Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another iOS 13 video and in this video I will show you guys 15 things that you should do first once you have installed iOS 13 on your device. Now, of course, one of the most anticipated features on iOS is the dark mode. We have been waiting for that for years and it's finally here with iOS 13. So once you install iOS 13, make sure you go to your settings and from here, go to display and brightness and here you will find the dark mode section. It's called the appearance section. Now, what I suggest you do here is turn it on on automatic. Now, what this, this will do is that it will turn on dark mode and of course switch to light mode automatically based on the time of the day so you will have here different options like you can set it all on automatic like sunset to sunrise that of course will use the weather app to determine when to enable dark mode and when to disable it that's the best thing to do or you can even go ahead and custom schedule it from here so you go ahead and you set dark appearance when it will be turned on and then of course you will have light appearance when it will be turned on so you can set the clock right here to any clock you want but the best thing is to do is go ahead set it to sunset sunrise and it will do it automatically for you another big new change on ios 13 is of course the new download manager of safari now here i suggest you go to settings you go to safari and then you will find your downloads right here so go to downloads and what you need to do here is go ahead and set where you want to save those files that you download. Now, I believe by default it will be on the iCloud drive, but you can set it on your iPhone or other as well. So if you have like a third party app like documents or anything else, you can go ahead and set it right there. Or you can go, for example, let's say to your iPhone and you can create a new folder where you want to save those files. So just make sure you know where you have your downloads being saved. So just go ahead go to settings go to safari and choose where you want your downloads to be saved another big new feature of ios 13 is the new optimized battery charging so go to settings go to battery go to battery health and right here will find optimized battery charging so in the long run this will have a huge impact on your battery it will make your battery last longer and wear very very slower so what this does is basically it will charge your iphone fully only when you need it so it will use machine learning to learn when you need your iphone to be charged at 100 percent and will charge it on time for you so i will do a more detailed video on this so make sure you follow my channel and you will see everything explained on how optimized battery charging works on ios 13. On iOS 13, you can go to settings, go to general, go to keyboard, and you can enable slide to type. This is also one of the new big features on iOS 13. What I suggest you should do here is enable delete slide to type by word. So if you slide a word, and it just basically misses it it just puts there an incorrect word if you start deleting it will delete letter by letter so that will take of course quite a long time but if you enable this then once it have delete just once it will delete the complete word not letter by letter the share sheet on ios 13 has also been redesigned and now it has more features like if you go to the share sheet i suggest you go ahead and organize it the way you use it so you can see right here will have edit actions now you can see it's separated into different sections right here you will have the three right here at the top then you have the other ones and the other ones down here so for example like you have like a few actions here that you don't use and you have some here that you use more often so you can go to edit and right here will have your favorites this is this section that will appear at the top of the share sheet and you can go ahead and remove these that you don't use and go ahead and just add ones that you use most so go ahead tap right there and now on the favorite section you will have your basically your fa favorite moves right there that you do and you will have them here on the top of the share sheet more easy to use and of course you will have them right there at your fingerprint Another thing I suggest you do is edit your name and picture on iMessage. Now on iMessage you can have like a profile pic and of course you can change your name right here. So you will see here a bunch of options and you can go to view more. Of course you will be able here to add like your picture or any of the memojis and the stickers right here. And of course you can edit your name as well. So it allows you to basically create a profile that you can share with your friends on iMessage. 
Another thing that I suggest you do once you install iOS 13 on your device is make sure you enable the low data mode. Now you can find this feature on the cellular data section on the settings app of your iOS 13 device. Now what this does is that it helps apps on your iPhone reduce the network usage. So it will of course make them use less data. So of course it will save your data and your money. Very often you have probably been bothered by calls, by contacts that you don't have or, or those robocalls or anything like that. But now with iOS 13, we have a new feature here. Go to settings and go to the phone section and you will see this option right here that lets you silent unknown callers. So any calls that come from numbers that you don't know or you don't have on your contacts list, they will be silent. So you won't get like the call here, the notification, they will be just sent to the voicemail and they will be displayed on the recent list, but they won't bother you. If you use Safari to browse on your iPhone, then you should turn on this feature once you install iOS 13 on your device. That feature can be found on settings, go to Safari, scroll down here, and you will see this section that says close tabs. If you go here, you will have the option to close your tabs after one day, one week, or one month. So, of course, browsing sometimes will leave the tabs open in the background, and they, they will just clutter right there, you will see like a ton of tabs, and you just don't bother closing them, you can have Safari close them automatically with iOS 13. Just choose the time here, how often you want Safari to close them for you, and it will be done automatically. A very cool new feature on iOS 13 is called voice control. I suggest you turn on this feature because it might be very, very useful for you. So you go to settings, go to accessibility and here you will find voice control. Make sure you turn it on right here and this allows you to control your iPhone using your voice. Now sometimes you might not be able to basically grab your iPhone and type something or go open an app or anything you want to do. You can control it with your voice. This is really, really amazing. So let me show you just a simple example here show names as you can see right here it will show me the names of all the apps i can open any of these tap calculator and as you can see just like that it will open the calculator app go home go home and just like that it goes home so swipe swipe right swipe left and as you can see right there i can control anything on my device using just my voice so this is a very very cool feature of ios 13 that you should turn on now if you come from ios 12 to ios 13 you probably know that on ios 12 you have a limit of how bigger apps you can download using cellular data on the app store. Now that has been changed with iOS 13. Now if you go to settings and go to the iTunes and app store section, you will have this one right here, the section that says app downloads. If you go right there, you can allow to download apps over 200 megabytes, or you can set it to ask and always ask, of course, if you don't want to download any apps without permission using cellular data. But as you can see right now, of course, most of you guys probably have unlimited data and that stuff and you don't care, you just want your updates or you want to download your apps, you go ahead and turn this always, always allow and you will be able to download apps over 200 megabytes using your cellular data. Another setting that I suggest you should turn on once you install iOS 13 device is found under the note settings. Now you can see right here, if I start typing something, I start typing a note, you can see those big bold letters. So it automatically starts writing the title right there. So you can see that's a title, that's how it's configured to work. So if you wanted to basically start typing body, not a title, you can go ahead and change that from the settings. So go to settings, go to notes, and you will find here new notes start with and go ahead and set it body right there so once you start typing a new note it won't start typing like the title but it will normally start typing the body of a note if you go to your settings and go to wallpaper here is a setting that i suggest you should turn on once you install ios 13 on your device 
dim appear dark appearance dims wallpaper now what this does is that it will make the wallpaper darker when you enable the dark mode on your ios 13 device so what it does is it adds like a dark shade to the wallpaper and makes it look way better with the dark mode enabled like if you have dark mode enabled and you have like a bright wallpaper here it won't look that good but with this setting enabled basically you will get like a darker wallpaper anytime that the dark appearance is enabled on your device and i suggest you turn on that setting once you install ios 13 on your device Another thing that I suggest you should do once you install iOS 13 on your device is enable the dark mode switch on the control center. So go to settings and go to control center, go to customize control center and add dark mode. Now what this does is that it adds the switch right there that allows you to turn on or off easily the dark mode from your control center now you won't have this by default it will be right there in the settings of the control center on the settings app and go ahead like if you don't want to leave the dark mode automatically you can go ahead and just set it right here and you will have it way way easier to turn on or off the dark appearance on your ios 13 device and last but not least is the zoom feature if you go to settings go to accessibility you can enable zoom now on ios 13 this feature is kind of different than it was on older ios versions if i tap with three fingers you can see it will zoom in but it won't just add like a loop it will zoom in the whole screen like this you can see how cool that looks now if you need this feature you can go ahead and enable it right here so go to settings and go to accessibility and you will have zoom right here so you move with three fingers three fingers to go out three fingers to go in the zoom mode as easy as that and lower here you can also set like the amount of zoom that you want to have the maximum amount of zoom that you want to have on your device as easy as that you can enable this cool new feature on ios 13. So that is it for this video guys, these are 15 things that you should do on your iOS 13 device once you install iOS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 13 videos and I'll see you on the next one.